Hello, and welcome to the first Five Cent Cigar broadcast of the new decade. I'm Evan McAllis. And I'm Leah Crowley. Thanks for joining us. They say you can't teach an old boomer new tricks, but this on-campus organization is proving the Twitter trolls wrong. News of the novel coronavirus has flooded the media. We have what you need to know. The burning question on everyone's mind after a wild Sunday night matchup. What Super Bowl commercial reigns supreme? And make sure you stick around for Roadie Sports Corner on this week's Five Cent Cigar Newscast. With 150 programs across the United States, the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute proves that you're never too old to learn. The program at URI is no exception, helping hundreds of people in the community stay active and engaged. All these members are committed to fostering an environment that promotes open discussion, curiosity, and the joy for learning. Nathaniel Sandoval has a story. The OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute, known as Ali, provides adults 50 and up with stress-free learning opportunities in a fun, lifelong learning environment. Ali at URI offers many different classes, special interest groups, and travel programs for adults to enroll and join in. Another part of Ali is it's for the joy of learning, uh, for curious minds. So sometimes you read, um, but there's no test. And if you come to a class and you haven't read, it's okay. It's no one's gonna, <laughs> you know, no grades. Um, but they're very, very much engaged. For the members, Ali is more than just a place for them to expose themselves to new material and activities. I think Ali also provides a community of retirees, of like-minded people to uh, make friends and you know do things together. Perhaps more often it's one of their purposes why they get up every day. Ali can be one of them, there are many more, but there are some members that are here every day. So that's going to feel better. Yeah. They were coming in slow. I really enjoy volunteering. I'm here every Friday morning with Peter. We have a really good time. There are currently 1,400 members in this specific OLLI program. There are over 150 programs all across the country. You now the university says think big, so does an OLLI. Nathaniel Sandoval reporting from the Good 5 Cent Cigar Newscast. With a case reported in Boston, concerns have risen over the novel coronavirus. However, the university has taken many precautions to ensure the well-being of its students and faculty. I spoke with members of a newly established leadership team on how the outbreak is affecting URI's community. Being sick in the winter is not uncommon. So, <clears throat> excuse me, most of our community has what, what I have. They're clearing their throat, they have cough, they have stuffy nose, fever. Not the coronavirus, just, you know, normal cold and flu that we see that this time in the year. Dr. Chris Nason, the medical director for the University of Rhode Island, talked about the risk of the novel coronavirus. So I think kind of as citizens of the world, we have to sort of take this seriously, but realize that the risk still here in Rhode Island is very, very small. Ellen Reynolds is the Director of Health Services here at URI. So we were monitoring the situation and decided to call a leadership team together on last Monday to begin to look at our students who were in studying abroad programs, specifically in China. We looked at where our students were in China and began to work actively on plans to have them come home. The leadership team was in contact with both the students, their university programs, and their parents. Overwhelmingly, everybody was agreeable that it was time to come home and uh, we literally had a team working on making arrangements as quickly as we could to get our students back to the U.S. We are going to work now with our academic affairs partners to develop a program of study for them for the remainder of the semester so they don't have any lost academic time. When the CDC raised the China Travel Advisory to a level three, there were seven URI students studying abroad in China. Five of them were there with the Chinese flagship program and two of them were there with the international engineering program. As of right now, six of them have returned home and the seventh will be returning home by February 5th. Health Services is reaching out to each student upon return to the U.S. to really make sure they have the health education and understanding of how we want them to monitor their health. 
over the next 14 days. Health Services also reached out to URI students who are from China. Really, it was a supportive message about we know that you probably or may have family or friends back in China that you're worried about. We sent out a list of our resources on this campus. So we wanted them to know that the health center and the counseling center and our psychological consultation center and others are available to help them if they're having difficulty with that. When it comes to getting sick, the coronavirus is not health services' main concern. Last week, I think we were up to beyond 6,000 deaths, you know, in the United States from, from the flu. And we want to cover coughs and sneezes. We want to, you know, pr uh, practice good hand washing if people haven't gotten their flu shot because that's really our number one uh, problem that we're seeing right now. They should get their flu shot. Flu shots are available at health services free of charge. A professor in the political science department was in Wuhan, China over break. She and her family have safely returned to the U.S. and are being closely monitored and cared for. We will have further updates to come. After the dust has settled and the Chiefs took home the Lombardi Trophy, there's only one thing left to discuss. Tom Brady or Baby Nut? We talked to students around campus to get their takes on this year's best Super Bowl commercials. My favorite was the Cheetos commercial because um, the, I can't touch this guy, I don't know his name, but it was really funny. Chris Rock one for like the Facebook, uh, Facebook group things because, it, I don't know, it was just funny. Like, it just made like no sense like coherently. I liked all the um, build up to it that Tom Brady put on his Twitter. So then when he finally released the Hulu commercial and said he's not going anywhere, I thought it was super suspenseful and, and awesome. Ex-NFL player, his name was Anquan Bolden. He had a um, ad about his brother getting killed. By, he was stuck on the side of a road and he got killed by a policeman. And he his job now was to like, use his platform to create change. It was the Google ad because I would say it, it summed up uh, a man's life in uh, one thing and related it to a Google ad and I think it like moved a lot of people. And now over to Nolan Riley with your Roadie Sports Corner. Welcome back from winter break, Roadie fans. I'm Nolan Riley for the Roadie Sports Corner. We have plenty to catch up on with a steady women's basketball team, surging men's squad, and a new record into the history books. Let's get to it. We'll start with Roadie Women's Hoops as the Rams win into this past Saturday's matchup against the George Mason Patriots on a two-game skid, needing a win to get back to 500 in A-10 play and stay within the requirement for their conference tournament. Early on in this one, with the score locked at zeros, Nicole Jorgensen gets this party going, hoop and the harm. She is fired up to put Rhodey ahead early. She would finish this game with a 15-point, 10-rebound double-double. Mason would hang around all afternoon, mostly on the back of plays like this, from guard Nicole Cardano-Hillary, as she gets the scoop layup to go in transition. Late in the first half, with the clock winding down, that's Erin Jones hitting the wing three to get URI to a 20-16 lead going into the break. Jumping ahead now to the six minute mark, a steal from Mason on the defensive end leads to another Cardano Hillary hoop. She would lead all scorers in this one with 16 points. Answering a minute later is freshman Brazil Harvey Carr on a terrific driving layup through traffic. URI would win this one 47 42 to move to 11 and 9 on the season. To the men's side of things we go with Fats Russell, Jeff Down, and company playing host of ECU and hungry for an ever so important season sweep of their Southern Ram counterparts. Early first quarter, Tyrese Martin gets URI their first lead in this one, hitting the corner three right in front of the VCU bench. Martin would tally 18 points for Rhodey on Friday night. The key in this one was the Rams' hunger and tenacity, which was on full display on this possession with not one, not two, but three chances at a putback with Martin finally putting that one home on the layup. Late in the first half, and the Fats Russell experience has been on full display this season, with the junior guard providing plenty of highlights such as this one, with a vicious crossover, taking a bump, and getting the runner to fall to put URI up 47-22 with 1.30 to go in the first frame. Moving forward to just under three to go in the game, and the Rams up 12 after weathering what was one point a 20 to three VCU score and run. Russell plays the role of creator this time, finding Martin again in the corner for the dagger three, Rams up 15. If that was the dagger, this was the exclamation point. The big fella, Surreal Langevine, throwing the hammer down on Marco Santos Silva, and the party is officially on in Kingston. Langevine would finish the game one rebound shy of a double-double, settling for an 11-point, nine-board effort instead. 
Fats would lead all scores and get the curtain call as he had a massive 30 point performance adding 16 at the charity stripe and also dropping five dimes as Rody Cruz to an 87-75 thumping over VCU. Moving on to Tuesday night's matchup against regional rival UMass, Rody would again put their winning streak on the line looking to make it nine straight victories. Sophomore big man Jermaine Harris will get things going early for URI, getting the easy fast break opportunity in the early goings of this one. It was a big night for senior Cyril Langevin as well, getting the hoop and the foul call just a minute into the game. We'll stick with Langevin as well as he would clean up a Harris miss with an authoritative putback jam. Langevin would surpass 1,000 career points Tuesday night, joining current teammates Jeff Down and Fats Russell as part of the club. The Rams would cruise in this one to a 73-67 win, making it nine in a row. Head coach David Cox knows there's work left to be done. We're trying to climb a mountain right now, so you know, our eyes are still kind of locked in on the prize. Uh, I don't know, was it eight, eight in a row, nine, nine in a row? I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a great feat uh, for these guys, but there's so much more uh, that we want. I mean, it was pretty big to get a 1,000. took a long time, but I was happy. The guys was happy for me. And I just stayed the course of the game, and I just went out there and hoop. Moving on from the hardwood to the track now, we'd be remiss to not end the show with a shout-out to Rhode Island women's track star, Lotta Black. Black earned A-10 Performer of the Week honors for the second time in a row after winning the 1,000 meter for the second straight year at the New England Indoor Championships, setting a new record while doing so with a scorching time of 2 minutes and 44 seconds. This is now her seventh school record, and her new 1,000 meter time is good enough to sit at second overall in the entire nation. Many congratulations to what is already an all-time great career. Reporting from Kingston, Rhode Island, I'm Nolan Riley. Leah, did you catch the Super Bowl on Sunday? I sure did. What was your favorite commercial, Evan? Well, it had to be Smart Pack. Oh, Smart Pack. That one was wicked funny. Wicked funny. Big Poppy, John Krasinski, all the Boston icons you could ask for. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us this week here at the Five Cent Cigar Newscast. And make sure to check us out on RhodeyCigar.com and follow us on Twitter at RhodeyCigar. Reporting from Kingston, Rhode Island, I'm Leah Crowley. And I'm Evan McAllis. We'll see you next time.